I'm Katie Fernbacher with Gigaom TV, and today we're going to show you what it takes to give your Prius a plug. Hi, I'm here today with Pat from Pat's Garage, and he does plug-in hybrid conversions. Hi, Pat. How are you? How are you doing? I'm good. What are we standing in front of? Tell us about this. We're standing in front of a donor car that's about to become a plug-in hybrid. It was a second generation Toyota Prius that we're going to convert into a plug-in electric vehicle. Wow. So what are the basics? We're not turning this into an electric car. First and foremost, we're turning it into a much more efficient hybrid. What we're doing is adding an external battery source, which will continually serve to recharge the Toyota battery mm -hmm. and extend the range of when the car runs on electricity versus when the gas engine kicks on to make the car run. Someone brings this car in, how long does it take to convert it, how much does it cost, um, and what are the benefits to the consumer? First of all, you need a second generation Prius. Okay. Any of the Toyota technology hybrids are suitable donors to do a plug-in hybrid. It's very easy uh, because it has the capability of either running all on the electric motor, all on the gas engine, or a blend of the two. In California, it's traditionally cost about $12,000 to convert. Uh, there is a, fed, a federal tax credit of $1,000, so that reduces it some. It's not a complicated process. It's about a one-day job. The benefits, obviously, better mileage. There's that magic number of 100 miles per gallon. Mm -hmm. And it's true that you can get 100 miles per gallon, but anybody that's driven a Prius knows that the car is very susceptible to how you drive it. I have people that get 30 miles per gallon in a Prius. I got people that get 60 miles per gallon in a regular Prius. So that, that's further accentuated when you do a plug-in hybrid. So what are some of the possible drawbacks after you get the car? I mean, is my warranty completely shot if I get a plug-in? <laughs> plug that, that's one of the misconceptions is that Toyota will automatically void their warranty. Well, they don't. They don't. They can't. It's like saying if you, hang, if you buy a new car and you hang fuzzy dice in the window, it voids your warranty. Or if you put a different radio in, it voids your warranty. If we did something to the car that caused the car to break, then of course, we would be responsible for that. But high motion warranties the system for three years or 36,000 miles. All right, Pat, take us through the steps of how this all works. Well, customer brings a car in, we start stripping down and making access for where we're gonna put the system in. Uh, we've chosen an area where the spare tire normally lives, which is built in a crush zone, so it's inherently a safe spot to put a system like this is one of the reasons why we're able to pass the national crash testing um, regulations. So what we do is we remove the spare tire, get everything ready. We have a wiring harness that we interface with the car. One of the things that our system has to do is it has to be able to communicate with the Toyota system. So there, there's a system of, of communication called CAN that it's a series of wires that feeds electricity and the, and the computers can all talk to each other. So what we do is we hook up a wiring harness with the existing system so that the Toyota thinks that we're, our system is exactly what was originally installed in the car from the factory. But you can see, you know, we're traveling along at, you know, pretty much regular, regular city street speeds and we're still driving all electric. So you can see it's down, we've, we've lost one of the green bars now, which means that it's, it's using up some electricity, but even at this rate, we probably have about oh, 10 to 12 miles pretty easily of all electric mode if, mm -hmm. you, if you need it. You should jimmy the system where if it connects to the gas engine, it's this loud, blaring, <laughs> annoying noise. All right, Pat, thank you so much for showing us what it takes to give a Prius a plug and for giving us a ride in the converted plug-in Prius. Thank you for having me. Um, we're really glad to show the public what it takes to convert their hybrid into a plug-in. And if they have any more questions, they can go to greengears.com or they can give me a call personally and I'll walk them through the process. All right, thank you. Thank you.